Hey guys, today we are going to talk about my favorite new deck, Devoted Druid Company. And this is based on a build that I tested. And it follows this exact deck list. It's very flexible. Your sideboard is also quite good. So let's talk about what this deck does. It's an absolute combo deck. You're not going to win with better creatures. You're not going to win with grinding out card advantage. You're going to win by going off with a combo. You have two combos to select. And one of the reasons Malera Pod combo was so weak is you could hit out one of the cards and then you would be in trouble. But here we have two combo win conditions making it more difficult to take out. You have the traditional Malera Pod combo, which is Malera, Seer, and as well as Kitchen Finks. You can use the Blood Artist to deal some or to have your opponent lose some life. And the Kitchen Finks will help you gain infinite life to look out for the to eventually draw the Blood Artist or tutor it up. Now this combo has existed since Malera Pod. Now it is a collected company type of combo since Pod has been banned. But the ideals, what you're trying to accomplish is the same. Now, let's take a look at the second part of the combo. And this part of the combo makes a turn free win incredibly easy to do. It is a Devoted Druid, the $10 common now, as well as Devoted Druid and Visor of Remedies, a new card from Amaket. These two, when combined, give you infinite mana. And that's very, very strong because you can play out and you can go ahead and look out for, and play your entire hand, drop your hand and go for the combo win. Dusk Watch Recruiter is good because you can draw into multiple creatures and then you can even, you can find what you need to win the game. Now, why is this deck strictly better than the Malera deck? The Malera combo deck, which I have traditionally run because it's been really fun. I love combo decks and I feel like they are a just a blast to play with because sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't. The other win con is faster. It's a two card win con that allows you to drop your entire hand and have infinite mana. And assuming... I mean, taking a look at this, Court of Calling, Collected Company, you have two Dust Watch recruiters. This type of, uh, these creatures are insane, or these spells, these tutor abilities are insane, because once you get the Dust Watch recruiter out, you can cycle through your entire deck, finding whatever you need, and again, you have infinite green mana. So... It is quite possible to win on turn three consistently with this deck. That's why you have four copies of the Devoted Druid and you have four copies of the Visor, which you just need to find those two together and that's it. Very similar to Splinter Twin, but cheaper than Splinter Twin, but you're not in blue, so you don't have counter spell protection and you since they are creature based, you cannot rely on end of step pester my, my turn splinter twin. So if your opponent taps out, you cannot rely on your opponent tapping out for you to win, which is, is what splinter twin does best, wins out of nowhere. But what you have is you have two two drops. That's very, very fast. In today's modern, where people are playing Death Shadow, they're trying to aggro you, you are faster. Devoted Druid is faster. And you have somewhat, you have blockers for Death Shadow, which should you need an extra turn to draw into your combo. One of the other issues here is that the Devoted Druid ideally would come out on turn two. And that's because you need to use its tap ability to generate the green mana. So it does have summoning sickness. As you can see, its paper version is $11. This is a common that 
it's always been a good comment because it's always had a infinite combo with the quill spike but it's never seen modern play not like this this is what i believe a tier one combo deck will look like now you might ask will this deck be banned yes it will probably be banned are they going to ban what are they going to ban probably the devoted druid they're going to ban that card it wins out of nowhere and it wins consistently fast it's one of the fastest combo decks i've seen it is faster than splinter twin twin your ideal win con is turn four this ideal win con is turn three assuming your opponent doesn't do anything to interact with it and it's it is very easy to get these two cards together with coco as well as Coco at instant speed to grab these two is just insane. The problem with Malera is she was a little slow and you needed to wait. And Malera, Seer, and Kitten Finks, so that is three cards, which is much more difficult. And you need to, you only gain infinite life. So it's still, it's not like you kill your opponent until you get the Blood Artist out. This combo is just insane. I don't know if they realized when they printed the visor that there was Devoted Druid. I'm hopefully they looked at it. And, but a two, two drops in green and white, you're already in these color pad, colors anyway, is very good. Now I did test just with the Druid and just with the visor. And the one problem with that is if they have surgical extraction and they have some hate cards, it is quite easy for them to take out one of the two and then you're left with a deck that cannot combo off. Here you have Malera, you have a different combo mechanic and should your opponent really try to hate you out, you have, you, you do have some protection. You have the spirit and you have the scavenging ooze to go bigger and you have the kitchen finks, which is just a generally very aggro card. If you really think about what kitchen finks is, very aggro. This visor card is just so insane when combined with the devoted druid. I mean, I look at it and I think, wow, did they really know that this, did they really know about devoted druid or did they make a mistake? So the land based, you're going to play the four blooming Mars. Essentially, you're going to win fast. You this, this game should not last more than turn four. Uh, two Gavany Townships, two Overgrown Tombs, a Temple Garden, one Swept Heath, two Wooded Foothills. So as you take a look at that, you can upgrade, in my opinion, with Verdant Catacombs. That's actually better, uh, in my personal opinion. But overall, the land base is very, very, very solid in terms of what you need to get out. I think this deck is going to do really good. I'm excited to see it perform in modern as we are now going to go into the modern. I don't know why this format said standard, but it's modern, obviously. So I feel like it's going to do really well. I've been playtesting it. I actually put in my, the only difference I have here is I actually have four Malera, Maleras. And the reason I have four is because people in my locals play heavy 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 poison poison being one of the cheaper decks now to build so malera herself is a card that will buy you lots and lots of time eternal witness also very good in terms of getting back what you need surgical extraction that's the one that i've lost games to before when i was playing malera pot if they grab a malera into the graveyard let's say they use a thought seize or something and a surgical extraction at the same turn then you can't go off and you're just left with subpar creatures that by themselves don't really do anything. That's why I added the Tamagoyce in my original deck. I had four Tamagoyce because I was like, okay, well, what if they hate out my combo? What am I going to do to win? This is the better version of it. You have a faster combo. You have a consistent turn free win. Should they not be able to interact? And I'm not saying that they won't, they will fatal push. But that's all about tempo, 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 right? If they are spending a turn to fatal push you or they're keeping up mana to counterspell something, that's okay because 
you have the Coco, you have the end of turn Coco. I mean, what is really crazy is end of turn Coco into Visor and uh, Malera, end of your opponent turn Coco, and then just go off. Not Visor and Malera. I keep saying Malera. Visor and Devoted Druid. That's so sick. That's exactly like the Splinter Twin combo almost. In in fact, that it's a little slower, but you do have Birds of Paradise, so you will be able to play Coco on turn three consistently, and you can dig for so much with Coco. Assuming you have one piece, maybe you even grab two pieces, and that's why I like this deck so much. It has consistency. It's not super expensive right now. The Devoted Druid is a $10 common. If you can find them or trade for them, trade for them now, assuming that they are not going to be banned until later. This is the best combo deck in Modern right now. It's the fastest. It's the most... Uh, when you're talking about combo decks, you need the least amount of cards to go off. This needs only two cards. Then you drop your entire hand, and you, you should be able to win from there. It's going to be really difficult to lose when you have infinite mana and you can drop your entire hand, some of that being tutor abilities, and some of them, Dustwatch Recruiter being the main one, allowing you to draw your entire library and then play that entire, play all of those cards out. I feel like this deck will eventually be banned. Uh, I feel like it's very good against Death Shadow. I have play tested it against Death Shadow. It's just faster. That's the only way I can put it. It's just faster than Death Shadow, and Death Shadow is a very fast deck. I believe this deck will be banned, and it was a mistake, but I'm going to enjoy playing it until it is. Anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this deck in the comments below. Bye, guys.